Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Ale. I go by Dapper Shop on Poshmark and eBay. I'm a full-time foodie, part-time reseller. So if you're coming back from the previous video, this is going to be part two of my huge clean, cumulative thrift haul. Uh, aver average comp cogs was about $3.79. So let's get started. First guy is this kind of gold metallic knit cardigan. This originally was $6.99. It is ALC or ALK, and it's a size small. Hydro, hydro flask cooler, this was $2.99. This was $0.99. Cents. It's just a Vera Bradley, but it's Harry Potter for Vera Bradley. Nice little red pair of espadrilles. Very great shape, perfect for Valentine's Day in the spring. And these are Stuart Weitzman, and this is the newer, well, relatively newer uh, tag for him, since it's the spell out, and it's a size 8. Next up, just a pair of jeans, a zip, zip ankle jeans. These are Helmet Lang. These are women's size 30, so Helmet Lang. Thanks guys. Some of the stuff I just I have listed already, so depends why there's no price tags on them. But this was $7.99. This I got just based on style. It's kind of this really cool uh, leopard cheetah print uh, button uh, button down shirt dress. It's one of those kind of boutique brands. Piazza del Tempio, made in Italy, size medium. Size, so size medium in Italy, and it's just a viscose material, I believe. Yeah, 100% viscose. That's it. It's another good brand to look for sometimes. I've done well with this guy, this line. It sells really quick for me. Just this tie-dye, kind of high-low hem sweatshirt. Brand is Electric and Rose. Size extra small. This was $2.99. Then $3.99. Just this button front uh, shirt dress again. And this brand is a good bolo. I think they make men's and women's from what I can see online. The brand is Kodalak. So if anyone knows this brand, let me know. It's a size 2, which they do vanity sizing. Next up, just two of the same thing. Just these nice uh, embroidered kind of beach cover-up kimono thingamajigs by Lane Bryant. They're both new with tag and they're both in size 1820. Maybe those each were $4.99. This was $2.99. Just this eyelet uh, open back mesh long sleeve duster cardigan by Marine Layer. Size small. And it's a nylon rayon wool and cashmere blonde. Uh, just this cropped, boxy fit, Viore woman's t-shirt, size medium. This was probably $1.99. Next up, just a pair of men's chinos. And the reason I got these is because of what the collab is. It's John Varvato's Four Converse. These are size 32, the Chucking Classic. Next guy, this nice Next guy, these beautiful mustard color uh, sandals, leather strap. These were $6.94. And they are Chaco, and they are a woman's size 10. This I got just to try out. It's just a Pokemon uh, strategy guide. This was, they only charged me 50 cents. Next guy, just this nice little purse. And it's by All Saints. It was $12.99. So All Saints, and I think it's the Vis Vincent Crossbody. I kind of knew it was All Saints just based on the style, which I've never found their bags before. Now I can cross that off. Yep, so All Saints. Next guy, $6.99. But I know I did not pay that much for this. 
This I got just because I knew the logo. You might not know, but it's a good golf brand to look for. Grayson, G-R-E-Y-S-O-N. I think this is like a size medium or large. Next gun, $4.99. This I need some help if it's a men's or women's, but I got it just because how nice it is. It is a rag and bone. Nice leather belt. And it's made in England, size small. $19.99, but I'm pretty sure this was a 75% off color. Just this nice gathered pink kind of uh, satiny dress. New a tag from Ted Baker, and it's a size 4. So as we know with Ted Baker, if you're ever trying to find a style name, look inside the tag. And the style is usually down here, so it's the Louise. $5.99, a pair of women's hiking chinos, they're outdoor research, size 6, $12.99, this cow neck kind of bodycon, roost, um, really soft jersey dress, new with tag by James Purse, and it's size 1, $5.99, I've not found this color before, but these are joggers from Figs, and they are medium. Next guy, $6.99, just a pair of pull-on pants. These are Ted Baker again, size 3. $1.99, this is a very good uh, maternity bolo brand to look for. So it's just this basic cow neck uh, shirt dress, the t-shirt dress, sweater dress, you want to say. The brand is Majestic Filatures, or Filatures, Filatures. And it's a size 4. Looks like I got to do a little more digging on this brand, but I got it just based on style material. It's 100% linen, size medium. This was $8.99. And it's VLTS by Valentinas, or Valentinas, I don't know. Next up, $16. Just another new tab dress. If you know this print, you might know who this is already just based on the style. I'll give you a hint with the gold zipper. They're known for the gold zipper and the florals. Again, Ted Baker. And it is a size zero, so it's Ted Baker London. $6.99, just this kind of I want to call, I'm going to call this like a polka dot or whimsical polka dot or paint, paint stroke, little like a drop dress and it's a button front shirt dress with the belt, size extra small and it's Wilfred by Aritzia. What I liked about this store is anytime they get a maxi dress they, they like to like tie it up so it doesn't drag all over the floor. Next up, $12.99, just this nice uh, emerald green color dress, kind of like a halter neck style, and this is a good brand to look for, it is Beholden, which is Anthropology's expensive wedding line, and it's a size 4. Next up, just this basic uh, kind of bridesmaid dress, or maybe a homecoming or prom dress, kind of like a silky material. Kind of a very mini mini dress, and it's Jenny Yu collection, size small. This one I'm not going to put as new a tag. It just has the Nordstrom return tag on it, so it's light new though. Next up, eight ninety nine. Just a pair of women's uh, wide leg trousers. This is a brand I heard someone talk about, just so I figured I'd give it a try. The reason I got these is because they're new a tag. They're a size 4, and the brand is Love Bonito. So these, to me, look like it's like one of those fast fashion Zara-style brands. Next up, $5.99. Just a dog. Dog's vest from Carhartt. So Carhartt, which I didn't know they made dog or a pet appeal. $7.99. Next piece. This one is a good bolo to look for. So it's this mesh accent jumpsuit. 
kind of wide leg. The brand is Noam Hanich, size eight. So upon looking into this brand, I guess Taylor Swift, it's a Taylor Swift brand. She wears it a lot on the tours. But she's been seen wearing it a lot. Next up, $8.94, just a pair of suede uh, slip-on sneakers by Aquatalia. And these are a woman's seven. Next guys, $2.99. This metallic gold little crossbody bag. So it's just got some nicks and wear on the outside. Otherwise, great cheap. And it is made well. $5.99, just a men's gingham button down by Todd Snyder, size medium, or to be precise, 15 and a half, but I'm going to list it as medium. Next up, $3.99, another gingham print, but it's Etro, E-R-T-O, which I didn't know, which I find funny they didn't mark this up. And it's a size 38, which I believe is like a medium. Next guy. This was $5.99. I can cross this brand off my list now. And this nice gauzy cotton jump, uh, pink jumpsuit. It's by Zarina. Size extra small. Next guy, good bolo brand to look for for this one. This was $6.99. This is tensile blend ribbed uh, sweater shirt dress. And the brand is Simon Miller. And this guy is a size zero. So Simon Miller made in USA with Japanese fabric and it's a tensile nylon blend. Next guy, $4.99. So I was excited to find this one. It's this nice like kind of seafoam green color. I want to say it's like a tunic dress maybe or like a mini dress or just a tunic by Bryn Walker. Size medium, and it is 100% linen. Next guy, just this nice little uh, wallet, zip card holder wallet by Patricia Nash, which her logo is here. This is only $1.99. Next guy, $3.99, oh, just a pair of railroad stripes, zip ankle jeans or pants. And they're by Mother. These are the Looker Ankle Zip on the Road Destroyed. Size 28. And last thing in this bag, just a pair of women's uh, leather tan uh, Olokai sneakers, which you know of Olokai, they meant to be crushable. So size 9. These are only $3.99. That's it in the first bag. Next guy. Well, $8.99. New tab. Lululemon ABC Slim Pants. They're a size 46. And they're a 32 length. Then canvas slip on shoes from Vans. And these are the Lottery, Laura Latiria print. These are men's nine and a half. Next guy, $8.99. This is just an older label, but I got it because it's still new with tag. So it's Babaton, which is Aritzia, which I think this is an older label because I've never seen this tag before. So it's Babaton, and it's a 2X or small, sadly. But hopefully there's a 2X, a 2XS person that will run it. Next guy, $9.99. This I was going to get regardless of price. It's a size 4, it's 100% wool, and it's a Max Mara Peacoat. So if I can't sell this, I'm going to send this in the real real. They'll price it up high. But it's in really great shape. So, nice little uh, $4.99. Nice little Swede crossbody. And it's Rebecca Minkoff, which you probably can tell just based on the uh, tassels and the style. Next guy, $6.99, just a dog paw printed lug bag. It's 
got the crossbody strap and everything. This looks like it was never used. It still has some of the paper in there. It's $7.99, but I got these for myself. These are just a pair of Mary's sunglasses, which does not sell like it used to, so I'm just going to keep them. But here you go. What do we think? These are $7.99 as opposed to these probably re retail about 100 bucks. Picked up another thing I got for myself, or I'll just or I'll sell if comps look good. Just this nice blue t-shirt, uh, sweatshirt, or hoodie. And it's Simpsons, but it's the Simpsons collabs with Adidas. And it was only $3.99. Next guy I'm debating about keep, uh, keeping and sell myself or sending it in the real real. I'll probably sell these first. If they don't sell, I'll send them in. Just this nice pair of like metallic -y silver pointed to women's Oxfords. And they are Stuart Weitzman. So these are women's eight and a half. These were 13. Next up, another thing I got for myself. I'm going to try on if, they, if I like how they fit. Just this textured knit pair of uh, trousers, pull-on trousers. They're Zara. They're only $3.99. I think these are men's. We shall see. I know about you guys, but I always find it's hard with Zara and some other brands sometimes when they don't specify on their tag if it's a men's or a women's. Whenever it just says medium, it's like who? Next up, $2.99. Just a pair of Moto. Leggings, I want to, I'm going to call these leggings or pull-ons. The zip ankles. These are Wilfred again, which is Aritzia, size 2. I don't know if, Wilf, uh, if Aritzia is as popular as it used to be, but maybe that's why I'm finding it all the time. Next up, for myself, just this Target collab with Rowing Blazers. This is only $1.99. Instead of 10 bucks. I was not going to buy this at Target. I figured I'd find it thrifting, so I did. Next up, $4.99, just this vintage Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt, hoodie sweatshirt. This I might keep for myself when I go to Disney or just sell it. So it's Pooh, size large. It's just a poly cotton blend. Next guy was only $3.99. I got to find the size on this. So if anyone knows the trick to find the sizes on these shirts, let me know. If you know who the if you know this button, these buttons, you might know who it is already. So first thing I look for is because when I find experience with these shirts in the wild, they'll usually have the little cuff collar in there. But if you can't figure out by now, it is a Lululemon, which is very subtle. So men's Lululemon short sleeve button down. I think they'll call it the Aaron Aaron Easy or something. Next up, three ninety nine. This nice uh, green smocked long sleeve. And it's by Anthropology. Size so small, so it's the by Anthropology line, so I guess it's a newer tag. What's up, 399? I got this just because based on style, it's a very oversized boxy fit. A little plaid flannel -y top. And it's We the Free size extra small, which we all know this could probably fit probably up to a large. Next up, just a men's pair of rag and bone jeans. These are size 31. And they're the Fit 2 skinny leg, but I got these for two things. A, they're distressed, which men's distressed jeans do really good for me. And they're button fly, which I always look for for myself. Next guy, $3.99. Just this woman's pair of chinos with the tuxedo stripe. I got these just based on style. And these are just a con these are Converse, size eight. But it looks like these are like a col uh, collection piece. Next up to $3.99. So 
some wide leg corduroy pants. And they got two things, three things going for them. A, they're style wise, they're based on style. So wide leg, yes, corduroy, yes. And they're Levi's, which is okay. They're the rib cage wide leg, size 27, and they're the premium line, which I think this is the best, or one of the better lines to look for. Next guy, $3.99, another pair of trouser pant pull-ons. They got kind of like this elastic looking waist. And they are Kate Spade, size 6, which I'll know her clothing doesn't do quickly, but you don't know. $3.99, this nice blue plaid, 100% wool pants. These, I gotta figure out how to authenticate. I'm thinking they're real, just based on my own experience, but they're, they look like they're potentially like a Vintage Bur Burberry. So size-wise, I don't know what size they are. So let me know what, what you guys think. I'm leaning towards they might be real. Just because of this stuff. Bam, bam. Made in England. That's about it. I can't find a size anywhere. But they feel well made. Next up, $6.99. These I got figure out the brand on. I gotta do more jigging. I got these for two things. They're salvage and they're made in USA and they're my size so if they're worth if they're not worth anything I'll keep them. So the brand is 316 like the number three and then 16 spell out. These are the raw salvage woven by Koroki Mills in Japan. So if anyone knows let me know. I got these because how cool they look though. They're a nice coated denim Got the button fly, the salvage. So you know if they're salvage, they have this little uh, cuff down here or panel. That's what they mean when they say salvage. And they're made with Japanese denim, which we all know Japanese denim is one of the best denims to use. Next guy got probably just to keep for myself. I gotta see how it fits. Two ninety nine, just as Panatone for Forever Twenty One. You know, Panatone always does a color every year. Next up, 5 dollars I laugh with these because of two things. They still have the TJ Maxx sticker on, right? So originally they were $130 at TJ Maxx, marked all the way down to $7 on their clearance. And then they still have the Alice and Livia original price tag on it, so it's 308 so whenever you shop at TJ Maxx, I always laugh what they estimate retail is. So original retail is 308. They said these retail for 260. So these are the pink tag, made in New York, size 10. So like I said in the past video, I don't know if there's a way like what they mean by the color labels. If that means one's a newer label or it's just one is for certain department stores maybe. But these are these like nice metallic -y print pants. I, for life me, I cannot find a material tag, but these feel like maybe like a linen. Kind of got a nice wide leg. Next guy, I'm going to probably just keep for myself, or unless comps look otherwise. $2.99. It's very subtle. You might not be able to see it, but it's Patagonia size medium. Next up, $3.99, just a pair of vintage bow front, kind of metallic gold loafers by Ferragamo. These are a size 9. $3.99, good maternity brand, brand to look for. This is just a Hatch maternity. So it's not the 9s by Hatch, which is their diffusion target line, but the regular standalone Hatch. And it's the perfect crew, size two. Next guy, just a nice little shirt I got for myself, six ninety nine. I just like these style shirts from uh, Zara. So Zara again, it's got this kind of like chain out print. Next guy, three ninety nine. Again, this good golf golf brand look for is Grayson. So you'll see the wolf there, or they'll just have the spell out here. So it's size large, and it's just got some random company or golf course embroidery on it, but that should still sell regardless. 
All right, last up. And there's some goodies in this bag. First up, a pair of shoes I got for myself. These kind of gave me like Bottega Veneta vibes. So these originally were 35, but I believe these were, I know these were not that much. They were like dirt cheap. But they're Bruno Magli, which is a good kind of bolo brand to look for. And these are size 10. Next up, a pair of men's sneakers. And if you know, you know who this is, they're Burberry. These I know are, I believe are real. They match the pair I have. Only real problem I see is just some wear around here. These are size 45. Next guy. I've sold these exact shoes before, so I, had, I picked them up. That's a no-brainer. These were only $3. These are Tory Burch, but specifically Tory Sport by Tory Burch, which is like her active line. These are a leather material, and these are a size 7. That's it. $10. Just a pair of women's Sorel sneakers. Size 9. Next guy is a good bolo brand to look for. The brand is P448s. And these are a size... Six maybe. So with them, they make a lot of like golden goose dupes. So they're kind of inspired by California coasts or surf culture. Next guy, four ninety four. These I got just because of how minimalist they are and they're like like new condition. These were just Everlane, and they are a size seven and a half. I just got these just because of how the material is, they're leather. Next guy, found in the men's shirts, but I know this is not a men's. First time finding this brand in a while, I have not found it, I want to say a good, like, year. This is only $6.99. It's M.M. LaFleur, size small, which I remember someone said something about reading, I read somewhere about how their sizing is, so if it has the small, it has the size here, but then it has the line underneath that means something. Kind of like how Zara is, so it runs big or small maybe. Next up, $4.99. I got this dress just based on style. But it's by Anthropology, extra small. And I think it's a good material, maybe that's why I picked it up. Uh, 100% viscose. Let's go. Six ninety nine. Got for myself. This is a really good bolo brand to look for if you're, if you're looking for men's stuff. The brand is Good Life. So majority of their stuff is made in the USA. So it's Good Life, and it, this one was new with tag. Original retails about one hundred twenty five. Not bad for not even two dollars into it. Next guy. Six ninety nine. Just this cutout jumpsuit. So, orange cutout jumpsuit in the normal in the front with a deep v-neck and a big cutout in the back. And this is Free People Beach or FP Beach. I've sold this exact one uh, thing before. So it's a size small. Next guy, I gotta look up more about this, but it looks like this is a good bolo brand to look for. So this was $8.99. What made me pick it up was because of the material. It felt really nice. And made in Italy. The brand is PT05, which I mean, which I know means something, but I, for life of me, I don't know how to find much info on it. But these nice twill kind of salvage jeans again, like like we said. These are size 36, so PT05. Let's go. Another piece I'm keeping. Just this nice wool blend. Hoodie by Vince, size medium. This was only $6.99. So I'm trying to get more minimalist stuff or more like basic pieces for my closet so I can wear to work more. Next up, 
Justice Men's Short Sleeve Camp Shirt by Marine Layer, size medium. Next up, you might be able to know who you might know this who this is just on this. So only two ninety nine. It's Arcturx. This I saw poking out and I swiped it right up. So it looks like it is. I want to say this might be a woman's maybe. See if I can't figure out the size. Size is a little worn. Oh, size small. So it might be a woman's shirt. Next up, I might keep again for myself because it's a vintage designer and I'm a sucker for this. So it's not Kooji, kind of gives you Kooji vibes, but it's Missoni Sport, made in Italy. It's a size 56, which I forget what that translates to. So I might try that on. If I don't like it, I'll sell it. Next up, just another men's Lululemon shirt, polo. I gotta figure out, try it on for sizing. If it fits me, I'm keeping it. If not, I'm just going to sell it. So I know it's a men's Lulu because of the little three stripes here. And because the buttons have no branding. Next up, which I did, men's soft flannel. $6.99 originally. Extra large by Rails. We're almost done. What's up, $2.99? I just got for myself just a Kirkland Signature gray t-shirt, which is Costco. Then a nice pair of jeans for myself, too, so I found a frame. These are the Men Lay Home Skinny, size 33. So if you ever see this style, that's the men's line of frame. And last thing, I've got, let me try these on, too. If they fit me, I'm keeping them. Just a nice pair of cat uh, Kathy olive green kind of chinos joggers and they are if you know this logo they are marine layer size large these are only $2.99 so yeah that's it guys what do we think uh, if you see anything you like feel free to reach out to me you know how to get hold of me on my socials so otherwise I'll see you guys later bye